Hello, everyone. Welcome to Plastic Profiles. I'm your host, Agent Chuckles, a.k.a. The Burger King, a.k.a. ACBK1, a.k.a. BK Lover 69, a.k.a. Whopper Sauce 1, a.k.a. Chicken Fries and Hershey Pies. And with Ooh. me as always is Ooh. Steve, the writing dad. Steve, the writing dad. Hi. I, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat that. No. no. Do you, can you believe they just give this power away? Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> I I was in town where the Burger King is, and they just had them sitting out. <laughs> so I thought, you want to take them? Yeah. I am the Burger King. You are the Burger King. <laughs> I haven't had one of these. Like I started thinking about it. I was like, you know, I think I'm choosing sides. I'm way late to this. Okay. I'm choosing sides. I'm picking Burger King. Oh, are you really? Those crowns were so special to me as a kid. Oh, like okay. you know, the Happy Meals always made me like expectant. Like everywhere I go now, if it's a kids' meal, it better have a toy because right. of McDonald's. Yeah. But where are you going to get a crown? Yeah, facts, facts. No, 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 no. I'm hating it. Yeah. Burger King, Burger King all day. Chicken fries and Hershey pies. <laughs> Chicken fries. Yo, that kills me, man. I always appreciate how you can come up with that, you know, right off the top like that, you know, just because that was impressive. That was uh, my, my original take was going to be AKA, and then I say the name, then AAKA, then AAAKA, and then I'm just going to sound like an idiot by the end of my A A A A A. You know, oh, is he stuttering? What was he? Like? Yeah. Uh, Which? Oh, I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't do the porky pig. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, shit. Ugh. So, for those who uh, are still with us, yeah, I'm Agent yeah. Chuckles. Thanks for You're staying. watching Classic Profiles. And this is the second uh, of our two-part Valentine's special. Four-part, I guess, really. Um, normally, we do two releases a month. We're doing four. It's classic couples. It's Valentine's. Um, so the, for the first series, we did uh, Flint and Lady J, a classic G.I. Joe couple. Uh, Stephen and Dad, today we have another classic G.I. Joe couple. Oh, I like uh, it. We're going to do the first part. This is Tripwire. Mm. And I'm going to spoil it. Second part is Firefly. You, you Joe fans know this is a classic G.I. It's not. That's all a lie. Okay. Um, let me... Yeah, that's a lie. I just made that up. So, <laughs> ta-da! It's also a prank. Magic! Um, <laughs> they are not a couple. And actually, they're very rarely associated with each other. But in doing the research for both of them, I thought, well, I'm not going to put how to make a bomb in Fireflies. Uh, yeah. Last I needed to be tied to the uh, the yeah. anarchist cookbook. That will so, be um, Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm so... A lot of Fireflies deep dive is going to be just the same stuff as Tripwire. So if you enjoyed watching Tripwire, you might enjoy watching Fireflies. Hey! Also, <laughs> you get a little bit uh, of this. Thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, without further ado, today's episode is Tripwire. Ooh, um, yeah. and, and this is Plastic Profiles. So what we do here on Plastic Profiles is we... Come on now. All right, shake Ooh. it out and get ready. Yes! I feel like I'm at a wrestling match and my favorite superstar just came out. Oh, my God! He brought out the hands. We examine a classic G.I. Joe file card and then we scrutinize the classic, the corresponding classic G.I. Yes. Joe figure and its modern oh, classified oh. interpretation. Yeah. And then we determine which of those two, sometimes three, sometimes four figures is boast, boast his best represented <laughs> by that <laughs> file card. Oh, okay. Different. Believe it or not, that might have been the best way I've ever said it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so, like um, it. so let's get into this. Let's do it. Um, Da -da. So here is <laughs> fancy graphics. The uh, tripwire came out in 1983. Mm. This is his file card. Mind detector, code name tripwire. File name Skoog Tormod S. <laughs> Skoog. 
Skug. Tornab. Uh, yes, he's supposed to be in, uh, Nordic. So I got right. my camera right here. And then the oh, look at you. You're always so prepared, man. You know, there's, uh, you know, I do my best to put Easter eggs everywhere. Mm. Um, primary military specialty, explosive ordnance disposal, or EOD. Ooh. Secondary military specialty, demolitions. See, it kind of like Firefly a little bit. Classic. Mm -hmm. Birthplace, Hibbing, Minnesota. Grade E4. Specialist. Oh. Tripwire dropped out of high school at a naval base in Yokosuka, Japan. Father is career Navy. Oh. Um, spent two years in a Zen monastery pondering the meaning of life. As well for breaking too many dishes and spilling every conceivable liquid. So, uh, the less said about that, the better. Yeah. Okay. We're going to just breeze past that one. Just going <laughs> to join the army at 19 and received spiritual awakening on the grenade range. Proficient oh. with all NATO and Warsaw pack explosives, detonators, ignition. Ignition initiators and blasting machines. Qualified expert M1911 A1 auto pistol. Looks like he found his church. Mm -hmm. Yes, inside the uh, the big old suit. The uh, <laughs> who's gonna call it? The what's that movie? I can't even think of the movie now. Doggone it! The Hurt Locker. Yes. No. His church is the Hurt Locker. That's it. Tripwire freaks people out. He's always clumsy, jittery, and dropping things, except when he's working with high explosives. Explosives are the only things that calm him down. All right. So there's a little bit to go with there. Um, and uh, <laughs> I just want to take a moment to thank 3D Joe's for all these classic G.I. Joe images. So the file card, the packaging, and the figure. Hmm. That's a, <laughs> like all right, all right. It's the end of the year. It's the beginning of the year. I it's it's you know, beginning. Um, three D D D D three D Joe's. Because I couldn't think of a Burger King jingle. <laughs> That's the only way you get it, McDonald's. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Whew. All right. Mm. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Whoa. How to become Firefly's nemesis. Uh, so, uh, explosive ordnance disposal uh, specialist is 89D, 89 Delta. You undergo 10 weeks of basic training, 37 weeks of advanced individual training. Uh, AIT consists of two phases. First, soldiers will receive basic EOD instruction and go through the bomb suit test. Phase one is held at Fort Lee, Virginia. Hey. Me. Soldiers must pass this test in the 70-pound suit to move to Phase 2. Phase 2 is at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, and consists of hands-on training. Soldiers are screened upon arrival to training and will be recertified every three years. What you learned? Electronics and robotics, detection and destruction, chemistry and biology. You gotta have a mind for it, yeah. Yeah. In order to enter EOD Phase 1 training, all applicants must pass the bomb suit test. We mentioned that before. This is it. Respond to five verbal commands at no less than 25 meters. So you got to have good... Uh, uh, I couldn't remember what ears were. I was going to say O-host, but that's hearing? not... Yeah, yeah, hearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, walk a distance of no less than 300 meters so you got to be able to walk in the suit you got to be able to hear in the suit lay in and recover from the prone position you got to be able to get up from the suit in the suit lay on their back and recover like not being able to move like, like uh what rudy from uh or randy randy from the christmas story i can't get up i can't, I can't get, get up, up. <laughs> it was his only defense <laughs> Go from standing to kneeling on both knees back to standing. Ascend and descend a flight of stairs. Carry 100 pounds of equipment. This includes the bomb suit for up to one mile. This equipment is intended to be evenly distributed over the entire body. Can you imagine if you're just driving down the road and you see an army of guys like walking in these suits, like doing this test, like walking a mile, like grouped together? Wow. That would be a fast turnaround. Yeah, I'm out. Get, back. Get out. 
I don't want to go I'm anywhere not, near that. I don't need to be near ET at all. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Lift and carry a 155 millimeter projectile that weighs no less than 95 pounds while in the bomb suit, a distance of no less than 150 meters. Mm. Applicants will not drop, throw, roll, or drag the projectile. You can't make it 148 meters and try to chuck it the other two. No. You can't roll it. There's no bowling. It's not to make it the entire way. Mm -hmm. Negotiate under an obstacle that is 60 inches high and over. I know it's obstacle. And over an obstacle that is 24 inches high. <laughs> to solve basic math. Form oh, brother, where art thou? Has ruined me from... <laughs> we will have obstacles. All right. Negotiate <laughs> under an obstacle that is 60 inches high and over an obstacle <laughs> that is 24 inches high. <laughs> solve basic math formulas while in the required ensembles and under strenuous conditions. Oh. Conduct a thing. I don't like solving math when I'm... No, on a, on a yeah, like no. Conduct a finger dexterity test. I think they vogue for a little bit, right? And uh, they, they, they that's all they can do. <laughs> so far, I got one out of ten of these, so uh, I'm not doing great. Memorize and sort items. Negotiate through narrow spaces. Dig, lift, and shovel 25-pound scoops of dirt to a depth of three feet while bending, stooping, it or kneeling. So I guess that's disposing it. So if you've got a live projectile and you need to get rid of it, you probably wouldn't want to bury it, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why else you would do that, but maybe that's what that's for. Oof. Wear current EOD personnel protective equipment to include a bomb suit and chemical protective ensemble for a minimum of 30 minutes each while performing activities that simulate EOD procedures. Events in the assessment may be supplemented or substituted due to institutional constraints with the approval of the OD, of the EOD proponent. Um, so, yeah, I'm not passing that at all. That's not... That sounds uh, like it sucks. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that doesn't... Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. That's that not just sounds like it sucks. I tell you, no. at, as a firefighter, the gear you have to carry when you have to you know do stuff, it sucks, but you get used to it. Mm -hmm. Imagine that thing. That thing is way... It's protecting you from bombs, like the explosive yeah. force of it. And like, so... No, that thing that sounds miserable, bro. So kudos to anybody who's who's gone through that training. Yeah. Oof. So uh our fancy graphics continue. This is the uh 1983 tripwire packaging. Um, we see the art there with the explosive in the back. He's saying, Hey, wait, but they just blew up. Yep, that's how that's I see it. You and he's like, down. I guess I missed one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, it's, that's it's, where it's, I left it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. Uh, lower for that thing. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so his accessories. He comes with a minesweeper with cable, a backpack with mine storage. He comes with three, three mines. Pistol yeah. mold on his leg, and then he has an arm patch. Um. That I don't know what it is. I couldn't find anything like it. It's upside down chevrons again. We talked about that with Spirit. They don't do them that way. Um, I don't know, but it's right. cool. Yeah. So now we are looking at the classified yeah. tripwire box. There, got some cool graphics. Uh, I don't know who did it, but it's awesome. Yeah, he's in a cave. And if anybody knows uh, who did any of those graphics, please feel free to leave comments down below. Let me yeah. know who did it, because I'd like to give credit. Where credit is due. Where it is due. So here is the uh, breakdown. Now, uh, Tripwire was a deluxe figure, um, not part of this standard uh, regular series. He has a little bit higher price point. So um, whereas the original classic tripwire was part of the regular series because okay. anyways the point is he comes with more stuff obviously um so what does he come with and i was apparently That's pretty proud cool. of minesweeper because i made that way bigger than everything else so he's got a minesweeper <laughs> and a cable That's important though like <laughs> yeah. he's got a minesweeper guys <laughs> that's important okay he goes first <laughs> uh, he's got a cable that attaches to the minesweeper and then to his backpack All he right. does have his pistol he has two mines He's got a little rat, Aspara the rat. Okay. Um, because they actually do uh, 
in some places train rats to help with uh interesting finding, yeah interesting yeah uh he does come with two helmets so you can recreate his classic gi joe look or you can mm -hmm. go more uh authentic looking military um and yeah. put on that super heavy bomb suit yeah and then yeah he's got his different armor pieces so you can do different configurations he actually comes with a drone um so if we go back to his file card um the in-depth breakdown of the file card where we talked that you'll do learn some robotics and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally uh, a thing right there. Yeah. Uh, if that's a little spoiler for what may come ahead, I think it might be. Uh, mm -hmm. He does have a remote and then he has a backpack too that he can store the mines on and the cable connects to it. Um, and then he's got a, uh, a handsome little mug there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's what I would have thought he looked like, but no. Okay. So there's the classified uh, loadout. Nice. And so, uh, no longer that. I need a production assistant. Jeez. Okay. So, who drops a bomb on you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. So we got classic tripwire and then classified tripwire with a spare of the rat and a little uh, droney the drone there. Yeah. Uh, Steve, the writing dad, writing dad, you go first. Uh, I think I think this is going to be a slam dunk. Um, yeah, and I think we know where we go. I will say say this, you know, can't compare the like the drone. I, I take that out of the equation because when the first figure was first created, you know, at the time they didn't have that technology. That wasn't going, you know. So mm. but I, I like it for the new figure. Mm. Hands down, is going to be the classified version of it. Sure. Like, it's just sure. way more realistic you know it actually i this very rare um that really just hits it on the nose when it comes right. to a figure like this right and right. It, it really does there's really no bells or whistles there's nothing really to make it oh i'm a gi joe i have really cool you know super technology no the dude is a he's a bomb specialist you know mm. he's He's in a bomb suit. He the suit yeah. has the whole helmet, you know, with the drone, which they are using now. You broke down the rat thing. I didn't know that. That was pretty cool. He has the mind sweeper. He looks authentic. Like it, he doesn't even have to be a GI Joe. They, yeah. you know, that's like, oh, okay, that's a bomb specialist guy. You know, right. anybody would see right. that. So hands down, classified all day. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, you know, it's. I, I think uh, looking at the original figure, I think I always wondered, well, how come he's not wearing more stuff? You know, he's, yeah. his whole face is exposed for crying out loud. Like, that's not going to help much. You know, he's, this is all gone. If you, look at the, if you look at the graphics, you know, the graphic card, the uh, the pants look like they're like windbreaker type material. You know what I'm saying? Like wearing regular fatigues, you know. <laughs> he's got the airway pants on. <laughs> I'm cute I'm, music. I just, I just, I just uh, disarmed this mine. <laughs> Let's go hang out. Yeah, the uh, the classified figure does it all day. Um, you know, particularly with his, I, you toss the drone out, but I, I think because of uh, his file card and his training and all that, I think it's, it's, gotcha. uh, it definitely adds another layer. Uh, in his constant uh, pursuit of Firefly and their will they won't they relationship um, <laughs> that I have made in, up in my own head. That's right. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I mean, you know, look, they found each other. I'm glad they found each other. You know what? It takes all kinds. You know, it takes all kinds. He's just looking for someone to bomb. It's, I mean, yeah, man. <laughs> he you needs know? someone to bomb. Or who are we to judge? He mm. wants someone to bomb me. <laughs> so asylum was so close. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think uh, I think we know what's coming next, though. Oh yeah. A little segment we like to call yeah. Yeah. casting call. <laughs> All right, casting call. What we do here on casting call is after reviewing 
the class the, the classic gi joe file card we find an actor or actress well, there's no rules but there's one rule we find an actor or actress from the home location area state territory province island zip code any of those Whatever. planet yeah um that the original that that character is from and then the actor or actress has to be from that same place i think yes, i said sir. that right and uh, you know, I'm gonna go first on this one. I'm gonna go first Ooh. on this one. I'm gonna go yeah. first on this one. I have picked Steve Zahn. Because he's super jittery, oh. yeah. he's super squirrely. Um, and I I like to see him play something uh, uh you know serious when he's diffusing a bomb and then be him the rest of the time. That's pretty um, neat. Um, and as a little spoiler, Firefly will be played by Jack Black. So I think it's perfect. <laughs> no, I just made that up. That's not true. Please tune in, find out who I picked, but it's not Jack Black. Um, okay, so I picked Steve Zahn. Let's find out who you picked when I add to stage. Oh, oh Stifler, Sean uh, William Scott. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. The, I can see that. I can see that because I, you know, he could play a little bit serious when he's messing with that, but I could also see him being like the klutz and the or the goof. You know, or maybe he's doing all of that on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just freaking right. out because he knows the issue, and I could see that with him. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So both these actors are from Minnesota, so we did successfully successfully play the game. Uh, Everyone, the wow. we play by the rules. We Just are rebels. Break them later. We only have the rules we want to play by. That's right. And That's sometimes right. we don't even play by them. Nope. <laughs> so there you go. Not even my uh, own. <laughs> Very good. You know, I, I I'd like to see either one. I, I don't think either one of us really wins this yeah, one. I, I think like both, both could both plays because I could definitely see. Yeah, I could see both playing yeah. uh, and doing pretty well in this. I think. Yeah, I, I think, agree. I, especially if it was the Sean William Scott from uh, Evolution. The caca, caca, yeah. tucky, tucky, tucky. <laughs> that guy. I think that could be tripwire. Like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, so let's leave this and go back to our plastic profiles checklist. Um, yeah. So everybody, we got tripwire there with an X over it now. And um, we're yeah. really filling this card up. I we see a few are. more spots here uh, that have figures. Here we are still November, uh, our time. This will be February as you're watching this. That's right. Ooh, wouldn't it be sad if... If I this is my last appearance and I have this beard, oh, oof. the beard I, goes. I, if away. I got a widowmaker in like an hour and then like this uploads itself and <laughs> all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden you know in February this video comes out and I'm like, hey, I have my whole life ahead of me and it's just like another <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> it's making you think. Mm -hmm. It's making you think. Look at the look. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Cue the music. Go that yeah. <laughs> where's my, Put where's on my the, theme song for that? The contemplative music. <laughs> uh, well, so that is it for the main show. Mm. Uh, you know... Stephen the Writing Dad is often filled with tips. We love all his tips. Uh, so, Stephen the Writing Dad, won't you give us <laughs> just the <a> tip? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to still be here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey! Oh, that's, hey! that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome, well, everybody. I am Steve, the writing dad. Um, what I really like to talk about is just how awesome it is being a father. Um, but what comes with that is it's tough. You got to provide. You got to go to work. You got to spend time with your kids if you want a healthy relationship. All of that is very, very time consuming and taxing. Sometimes it's hard to figure out when we're going to get this stuff done. So especially if you have 
real little ones, they don't understand that you need to work. You need to spend time away. They want all of you. They want every single bit they can get with you. It doesn't have to be hard. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in the routine, the day-to-day -day life, that we forget that we can take one, two, ten minutes and just connect with the little ones. Sometimes it's just chasing them around the house. I like to do that with them. Um, I'm a very rough and tumble dad. Um, my daughter, she just wanted me to color one page. She spent the entire time telling me how to do it, but we did it together. And that makes a huge difference. So work is important. That's how we provide. But you're not replaceable in the house. So enjoy that time. And that's a wrap. <laughs> hey, oh, super close. There we go. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, I will always appreciate your tip. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, uh, and, uh, thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it. We always do. Always we may fun. not. We may not get much done, but we sure have fun. That's true. Um, That's true. So, uh, nope. That's the one. There we go. If you did enjoy it, though, please like and subscribe. Subscribe. Um, like subscribe. Become a part of Agent Chuckles' friend group. I don't. I don't have a great name for my followers, but. Um, you are all friends and you are always welcome uh, to chat with me on any of my social medias, which you can find those social medias and links down below in the description. Right that, in that there. Way. That way. And uh, Stephen, right now, why don't you tell us where we can find more about your stuff? Well, you can go ahead and sign up for the newsletter at thewritingdad.com. You can also find me on YouTube at The Writing Dad Show, on Instagram and TikTok, The One Writing Dad. All right. It's a lot of writing dads. Yeah. It's a lot of writing dads. The writing yeah. dad, the writing dad. Yeah, writing dad, writing dad, writing dad. The one writing dad. Mm -hmm. The writing dad show. Hey, you got it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us, everybody. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe.